Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Bubsy 2 for Super Nintendo. Also on Sega Genesis. We did the flying and music levels last time for the second floor of the West Wing, and now it's time to head to the Space Pirate and Egyptian areas. I like it. Starting with Cattle Car Pig Ladia. Let me see if I can shoot this guy from behind. There we go. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. Kind of excited about that. Also excited about being able to hit the switch. So I don't have to deal with these barriers anymore. Got a lot of lives last time. Then again, we've gotten a lot of lives in the last couple of videos. And you know what? I'd rather just go this way to avoid a catastrophe. And then I end up running into one anyway. Thankfully, there's a band-aid that I can use. And it looks like there's a platform. Just a single platform with one marble on it that I can jump to. And I run to this guy as well. Great. It's a good thing I can make a running jump to that band-aid. And let me see if I can get out of this guy's way so I can hit him with the Balzuka too. So, after this, there's going to be the third floor. And after that... That'll be the end of the game. And I don't think I'm going to be doing anything besides that. There is a mini game mode where you can play all the mini games, but we've pretty much played them to death at this point. And I don't know if playing the mini game mode would basically be any good. Because you basically just go through the same level designs that you go through in game, and I've already shown them off more than enough times, and I don't think it'd be worth worth it to show it again. So I just might as well explain it there. So if everything goes right, this should be about 16 videos. Speaking of things going right, seem to be doing pretty well on the exploration front here. I'm grabbing just about every marble that I can somehow get my hands on. Did not want to grab that, but oh well. I know this will probably lead to another area. Where I'll have to fly through and blast everything, and I have to press X in order to use my Balzuka again. And judging by the arrows, I will have to go in there. But I want to keep exploring and see what there is at the bottom here. More than likely, I might find some place where I will probably have to hit a switch in order to get anywhere. And you know what? I might as well just go ahead and go into this area first. Though there will probably be a barrier. Or not. There's just the one marble there, followed by a dead end. Okay, I see how this is. And let's see here. Oh. As I say, where's the sheep shooting the projectiles? It's over there. And it's a good thing I managed to get near that goat without getting hit. But you're going to hit me, though. I don't know why. I'm about to say, where is this guy at? So we're pretty much in a maze of quarters now, and I'm kind of liking what's going on here. 
as I'm doing this. My main question is... Oh, well that answered my question. Where's the next band-aid I'm gonna find? Because I'm nearly, ne nearly needing one at this point. Rather, I was at one hit left, so I actually did need it. Has this taken me to any place I have yet to be? I think I've already been here. Does this take me to anything? Okay, I'm going back. That's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to take care of this guy the old-fashioned way. Same with this guy, and now I'm wishing I did use the Balzooka there. Need to see what will take me to power-ups. Yeah, it's a good thing I kind of slowed down there at the last second. Thankfully, there is another switch, and I'm going to trigger it to get past that barrier there. Because why not? Hmm. Alright, I see where I am at now. Managed to get over to the treasure chest that I did want to get to. And I think I may have already been here. If not... Well... I'll be able to find some things, and that's quite alright. Yeah, I have been here. And this is where it was telling me to... go into that opening there, and this is where I went down to fight all the enemies. So, I'm gonna go in here. And what do you know, it did take me to one of those sections like I thought it would. Ben in, I'm not gonna need. Hopefully won't need. Smart Bomb I'm not going to get in time. Thought I could hit that guy with the bomb for whatever reason. I couldn't. And press X again to get the Balzooka reactivated. Nothing like finding out something is rather glitchy-ish as you play through a certain part of one level. Might as well go ahead and shoot that guy down with the Balzooka. And I'm afraid to go d very far in this direction because... End of level marker. Oh, that just took me to as far right as I could go. Okay, I'm okay with that. And that's pretty much it as far as enemies are involved. Not to say, how did you get stuck? Might as well go ahead and get behind him and shoot him down from there. So now that we're in this area and we're starting to see what is all around here, my main question is, what is next? What is indeed next? I can grab some stuff down here, that's nice. And if I could actually land on some platforms here, that would be great. That's telling me to go down. I'm going to go here briefly for more power-ups. Even though I'm basically going to be going down at the end anyway. Oh, hey. More fodder for the Balzooka. Awesome. And I think I grabbed a... Band-Aid right there. I say as I try to kill that penguin. There's the end of level marker. Want to hit this guy. Want to hit the... Whoa. Let's just say want to hit the... Uh, want to hit the switch there too if I can find it. And I may be able to find it if I look enough. Maybe it'll be to the left. 
Yeah, it's gonna be to the left of the end of level marker because if you see a, if you see one of those little berries that will shock you, there's never going to be one far behind. That much is a given. And if I could shoot that guy, that'd be great. Got greedy for cards there. Whoa. Yeah, there's gotta be... There is no switch. Well, that's interesting. As far as I can tell. Well, so much for exploration. Might as well just go ahead and trigger the end of level marker now. I didn't get a lot of marbles out of that. Oh, I can't press start to skip out of this. So I literally have to see my collection of marbles just count down there. And I might as well go ahead and go up to 65 lives. Why not? Once I get past the Egyptian level, the amount of lives I'll have will be perfect for the sixth and final medieval level that I'm going to do for this Let's Play. So anyway, we're now at Mummy Dearest. If I drop down here, I'll get some bazooka ammo. And I have to go in there in order to continue. There's no other way to get anywhere in the stage. Wow. Really dumb damage. Did not expect them to drop down like that. Wait for him to jump. Get the card. Now let's see here. Okay. I can do that. But what if... Good, I do turn the... Torches off. That's good to know. And extra life. That's good to know and notice exists. And it looks like that guy's just gonna jump around and try to attack me. And it's a good thing I waited to see what that guy would do because I didn't know if he was gonna fire projectiles as soon as I tried to jump. Do you want to keep looking upwards? You never know what might hit you here. More Balzuka ammo, which is always good. Though I hope to find some secrets shortly. That would be good. And I would welcome the chance to... Well, I don't think I can get it with this guy, though. I'm about to say I would welcome the chance to get more cards, but I don't know if I'm going to get any here. I will do this, though. And that. And there's a diving suit in case I need one. Will this take me to anything? Nope, just a back and forth loop between these two areas. Feel like I missed out on some prime real estate there, but oh well. Did manage to get an extra life. Wow, he actually faced the other direction. That space pirate. I'm impressed. And wow, um... The enemies are jerks here, and I wanted to go back up there. And it doesn't look like I will. I really wanted those marbles. Just for the sake of getting another extra life. Come on, game. I wanted to jump up there. But I can go in here. And it looks like I'll have to if I want to do anything. Now, are there any other Lincoln pennies that I have to fight? 
Thankfully, the answer is no. And I can just go all the way back up here. Is there anything up here, though? There is. I had the feeling that I would find a hidden area somewhere in there. You know what? You're getting a Balzooka just for that. And I'm waiting for him to jump my way. That way I can hit him with that. Get rid of him by jumping just to be safe. There's a two up. 69 lives. Now hopefully there isn't some really weird glitch. Huh. Well that's something. I'm about to say hopefully there isn't any weird glitch. Where if I grab more than 80 lives. I lose all my continues, all my points, and go back to five lives, like when I die or complete a level or something. That would be embarrassing. That would be very, very embarrassing. And the reason I mention that is because I know for a fact that the first game actually had something like that going on. And it really ruined the game. I fail to see how a glitch like that was allowed to stay in the game. I'm surprised the developers did not notice that in the first Bubsy. Where you have more than 80 lives and you die, there's a really good sporting chance that you're going to lose all your points, all your lives, except for 9, because that's how many you started with in the first one due to the first game being so cheap with the deaths and everything and all the one-hit kills and I really wanted to get that bow but I think I went too far when I shot that and I probably didn't have enough power on the catapult in the first place but anyway I guess they didn't catch that glitch when it happened but I can imagine that ruining a lot of things for a lot of people. And that did lead to a pit of death. Well, that's interesting. And I was able to jump there and get another minigame. It's the Armadillo one, folks. Again. Or do you have the hold the button? Maybe you have to hold the button to get the thing to work like you want. Yeah. That's what I'm beginning to believe here. Now, can I get up here, hit the switch, trigger an opening to a one-up? The answer is yes. And we get a couple of bonus points for doing that. Get a nice drink of tea there. Always have a good drink of tea when you do these things. And is this a one-way door? It's a one-way door, so we're going to have to go over here. There's nothing there. Why am I going there? I wanted to explore more of that, but oh, I was making some good time. Really making some good time here. And I can get these again. Now let's get up here this time. And there was nothing but enemies here. Just one of those pot style enemies. I wonder how we get down there. Something tells me we're gonna find out. Eventually. And there is 
had to hold up, hold right to get over, get away from there, and unfortunately that means I had to grab the bandage. Ah oh, well. There better not be any more sheep up here. Well, there was one, but it wasn't a place where I didn't want them to be. Now, let's see here. Was I here before? I don't think so. Nah, I definitely was not here earlier. And that's telling me to go left, so I'm going to go right here. Go ahead and trigger that marker in case anything bad happens. And that just took me back here. So we're looping again. Well, that's something. And it doesn't look like there was any hidden walls or anything right there. I do want to go further to the right there and see how to open up that area there and it looks like I'm about to get my wish. Can I even hit this guy with the bazooka? The answer is yes. Okay. I may have to go back to the left to get that pterodactyl there. If I can go to the left far enough, if it'll ever show up again. Oh, he was in the wall. No wonder I couldn't find him. And wow. Well, side benefit of that hit was I was a... Come on, I'm trying to explore here, game. Don't let me drop so fast. Or so much, rather. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. The water platforms. You know what? I'm going to drop right here just to ensure that I come back with full health. So, we got another bubbing for bobbles. Mini game here. Gonna confuse the tornado here a little bit. And it looks like I'm giving the tornado here the what for. And I got out of there fairly quickly. You can get a lot of points in the underwater mini games. I just wish you could actually do something with the points, like get extra lives for scoring high enough. That would have been nice. That would have been really nice. But sadly, the game does not do that. And I wish that there was a way... Hmm. I completely lost my train of thought after getting that continue. I did not even mean to get that. I wish there was a way to heal damage that same way. Not sure if that was the... The uh, train of thought that I was going for, but I'm pretty sure somebody was thinking that all the same. With this game. And I'm going to destroy him. Ah! Managed to make it that way after all. And another minigame. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves with the tadpole vaulting. Seems like we can. Let's see if we can. I'm going to go ahead and power this up a little bit. See if I can... I can hit the boat there. 
Gonna go ahead and power this up a little bit. Ooh, managed to hit that. That is nice. We can do this. If I can do this without wasting so much time. And we are able to do it, so... Huge amount of points for us. And two more lives. I'm getting way more lives than I should. For this game. Now that I'm not dying as much. And can this take us to anything? Nope, one way. Now. Can we get anywhere here and not fall down a whole bunch? That's my question. Ah, apparently we can. Good. Let's do some more exploring and see what's going on here. Whoa. Okay. Another switch I can hit. That'll take us down there. But what's over here? A bunch of signs telling us to go up. Okay. I can kind of okay, kind of live with that okay, I guess. But what will this take us to? Besides more havoc caused by trying to get through here unscathed. And he despawned. I decided to go ahead and take care of him the old-fashioned way, because why not? There's another switch there, and a portable hole. I don't know what that'll trigger, but I'm pretty sure I'll find out soon enough. You know what, there's probably a wall there. And an end of level marker. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to end this video soon, hopefully, now that I know where to go for things. And I'm going to see if I can go to the left here. Did I go in this direction? I believe I did. Can I go over here? I've been here. Well, so much for that. Now, can I go over here? Oh, managed to land down there. That's where I wanted to go. Now. Do they shoot a whole bunch of things? I don't even know why I said that. I was thinking about that mummy, rather. That's, that's why. But... Now that I'm over here, we pretty much got this area cleared out. And we are now done with all the levels on the second floor. So, let's see how many cards we can get here. Wow, still managed to get 40 cards here. Doing really well with the Balzuka ammo, too. Starting out with 81 lives on the second boss battle. That's really something. So that'll be more than enough lives to get through the entire rest of the game. Remember, I am a trained professional. And I don't know why I took damage there. That was dumb. I may have to do this battle over.
Yeah, I'm going to have to do this battle over. Had to concentrate there to see if it would actually... Going according to plan, but... Well, that didn't happen. And it annoys me that it always kicks you out. I guess maybe they do that as a favor in case you wanted to get more lives. But if you know what you're doing, that shouldn't be too much of a problem anyway. Oh, come on! Like I said, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I'm getting close to killing some of these enemies, and because of that, they're escaping me faster. But at least I'm able to get rid of the spaceman. That's the most important thing. Now, can I get rid of the sheep? Because his projectiles are, like, super fast at this rate. There we go. Amazing how you have just enough time. Just a little more than enough time. To get through the enemy gauntlets. But here we are. On the third floor. Which is nice little blue floor here. Pretty much set up the same way as the third floor in the east wing. And I will start this floor off. In the next video. So join me next time. Where I take on the medieval stage. And I may spend a whole level in the medieval stage. For the last time. And then it'll be on to the rest of the levels. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!